Yaddy. For those of you who don't know me and for those who do, hey, what's up you guys? Today I want to start a new series where I do my makeup and talk about postpartum depression at the same time. Thank you Bailey Sarian for paving the way to this style of content. The reason why I wanted to start this series is because as a mother of three going through this quarantine, I I don't know, I've been having really, really bad postpartum depression. When I feel depressed, I just love doing my makeup. Like, my makeup is my me time, even if I'm not going anywhere. I just love to hand off the kids to someone, be like, hey, can you watch them for an hour, an hour and a half, and just play around with makeup. So I decided, why not play around with some freaking makeup and talk about postpartum depression because I feel like postpartum depression is such taboo to have or to talk about and I feel like right now the uprise in postpartum depression is probably at its highest. Not only were there a lot of births during quarantine but there were a lot of people laid off and a lot of them were working moms. Moms that didn't plan to be stay-at-home moms for long like max three months but this this has been the longest year for me to stay at home without working. I'm usually working and working and working and postpartum depression really, really hit hard. What is postpartum depression? Postpartum depression, postnatal depression, also known as baby blues, is a type of mood disorder associated with childbirth. Postpartum depression can affect both partners. Maybe at the same time, maybe one experiences it and the other doesn't. I had three totally different experiences with both childbirth and postpartum depression. I didn't think I was going to have postpartum depression. I didn't know what postpartum depression was. I was 19 years old when I got pregnant and I was 20 when I gave birth. So after my daughter was born, I went to my OB and he asked how I felt, like if I had depression, if I had any thoughts of hurting myself or my child and I told him no, I feel over the moon, I'm so excited to be a mom, like I feel great. So he was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing, that's awesome. If you ever do feel you're having thoughts of hurting yourself or your child, please call me, let me know. And I was like, no, I don't have anything like that. Like, I'm very happy. I'm super excited to start this journey. So I didn't think I was ever going to have postpartum depression. Three years later, I break down. No reason no warning, no sign of anything, just crying at the foot of my bed, sobbing. I felt like darkness, me, myself, not a cloud, not gloomy. I felt I was darkness. So my daughter walks in and she asks if she made me sad. So naturally, I cry even harder. She hugs me and she asks if my roommate made me sad no no one made me sad baby like I I'm just crying how how do you explain to a three-year-old depression I told myself I will allow you to cry for 10 minutes after that that's it you gotta get up and you gotta be the best mom you can possibly be. Sure enough, after 10 minutes, I got up. That moment, three years after my first child, that was my first experience with postpartum depression. As far as postpartum with my second child, I really didn't go through postpartum with her because I was working all the time. But after those three months, I went back to work and I was working six days a week, so I was out of the house a lot and I was distracting myself. In the mornings, I would be with my daughter and then at nights, I would go to work. So it wasn't that I experienced it super, super bad until... So I didn't struggle with postpartum depression. I struggled with 
weight, which is normal. Like, obviously you just had a baby. You're not gonna be your pre-baby weight. Like, that's impossible. But my husband reassured me like, hey, like you look good. This is natural. You just had a baby. Don't worry about it. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna work it off. Like, I'm a bartender. I'm always on my feet. So I'm gonna walk it off. And at first it didn't bother me until, until someone I know mentioned Oh my gosh, you got chunky, huh? Bruh, I just had a baby! That's what happens when you have a baby! You gain weight! But that comment right there, especially coming from someone that I know, made me really, really, really depressed. But I ended up losing that weight because like I mentioned, bartending, I was on my feet all the time. And I also started going to the gym and started working my ass out until I got pregnant again. So before we found out that I was pregnant again, I was having the time of my life. I go to a freaking Jonas Brothers concert with my bestie, living my best life, trying to not feel depressed, doing everything in my power to give me that dopamine you know, and Jonas Brothers concert with Bessie, they make me happy. You know, obviously my family makes me happy, but you need to get out of the house once in a while. Then the pandemonium happened and it happened and I lost my job. It's fine. Like I was like, okay, that's fine. We're going to be back. I'll be back after this baby is born. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. No, no you thought. I was having postpartum depression before my son was even born. Depression this time was 10 times harder than the first two. We chose the hardest times in our life to have a kid. Not that we knew we were going to go through this, but it was tough. And this time, my depression has been at an all-time high so not only not being able to go out anywhere but just finding the motivation to do anything like to clean your room to to do anything is very 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 difficult and uh, sometimes I don't have motivation to even sit here and film a video but I thought hey you know what I love doing my makeup I can make something of this because I have a lot of friends that are having their first kid and they're experiencing postpartum depression a lot of people are having kids during this time and they're experiencing a lot of this and sometimes you feel alone you know like sometimes you feel like no one is out there who knows what you're going through but there is there is I'm here you're here we're here doing this together like no it gets better after it's feeling like it can't. So you know how I mentioned with my second child, I struggled with weight loss. This one, I am struggling even more than with my second child. I've been trying to lose this baby weight. I just can't. I don't know what to do. I'm doing the same workout as I did with my first one. I'm trying to walk a lot. I'm trying to clean the house. Just get up on my feet, do something. I don't know what to do to lose this weight. Like she's on there, she's on there good. She doesn't wanna go anywhere. She made a home in places that I don't want her to be. And there was a recent comment from my husband. He knows how much I'm struggling with my weight and I don't believe he said it with malintentions. Like he didn't say it to, get at me he said it without thinking like to him it was just a natural conversation starter between him and his mom but I was there and I was already super super depressed and he says this about someone who just had a baby about like two months ago that she looked like she didn't even have a baby. And I'm over here 10 months postpartum, still struggling to lose the weight. For the life of me, I can't seem to shed it, I can't seem to tone it, and just that comment 
coming from him really 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 put me in a depressive mode like I felt so unattractive so depressed but I do want to thank him because it motivated me to do this series I feel like only reaches to three people going through postpartum depression I'm going to be happy because I want to let you know that you are not alone you are not struggling through this all by your lonesome I'm here 29 years old still going through this thank you for being here I appreciate your support so 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 much and remember it will get so much better there's something that i could tell you to always keep in your mind when you're feeling super super depressed late at night that you can't sleep the days are long but the years are short i literally have that tattooed right here if you want to learn a little bit more about postpartum depression click the subscribe button i will be uploading a series of videos that talk about postpartum depression whilst I do my makeup because that's when I feel the happiest is doing my makeup and creating just remember this subscribe button is 110% free I'm Yadi you're awesome thank you for being here and I will see you later bye